Hi, this is Alpha Uzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is Union, Intersection and Complement of Probability. In probability, everything will be based on the event only. An event is nothing but uh, that has happened and is always associated with some experiment. For example, if you are performing the experiment of throwing a dice, then there can be numerous events associated with it. One of which can be the number on the top, be a multiple of 3. Uh, there are different operations performed on events. Union is one of them. We are going to discuss one by one. Union, intersection and complement. Union. The name itself implies union means joining of two things, irrespective of their individual behavior. Am I right? The union of two events gives us a compound event. Union of events simply mean that the condition of occurrence of whether of the events. It is not necessary that all events must hold true. The condition of at least one hold. More than one or even all the events under the union operation can be true simultaneously. First, let us start with the formula for the union of probability. Union of events in probability. Suppose A and B are two events associated with a random experiment. Then the union of A and B is represented by this symbol. This is the union symbol. The probability of the union of two events is given by probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B, the second event, minus probability of A intersection B. This symbol is called intersection. Here, probability of A is the probability of event A and P of B is nothing but the probability of event B. Also, this thing is the probability of the intersection of the A and B. When A and B are two independent or mutually exclusive events, that it's, it is the occurrence of event A does not affect the occurrence of event B at all. So in such cases, I mean when the two events are mutually exclusive or they are independent, it means the result of one will not affect the result of the other. So in such cases, this intersection, probability of intersection of the two events would be zero. So, if in such cases, formula can be slightly rewritten. Hope you are clear with this concept. Okay. What will happen if we have more than two independent events? For example, A, B, C. Then, in that case, the union of the pro union probability will be given as. So, the formula is same for the event. Even if the number of events is more, you can apply the same concept, same formula. If they are independent, you can set the intersection part as zero. If they are not independent or uh, not mutually exclusive, then you can consider this intersection part. Hope you are clear with this formula. Okay, let us discuss few examples and uh, let's see how to apply this formula in the example. Here is the example question. Consider the experiment of rolling a dice. Find the probability of getting an even number or a number that is multiple of three. First, you have to list out the sample spaces and then you can list out the probability. So, sample space here is. So, if you are rolling a die, so how many faces are there? Yes, six faces. So, the sample space would be. Now, let's define the events A and B. Let A be the event of getting an even number and B be the event of getting a number that is a multiple of three. So, let us list out the outcomes, the favorable outcomes for event A. So, these are the outcomes that will satisfy the condition even number 2, 4 and 6. Now, okay, I am going to uh, write the number. Number of sample spaces is 6 and n of a is 3. Now, let's find the event b. Okay, b be the event of getting a number that is multiple of 3. So, what are the numbers multiple of 3 in the sample space? 3 and 6. Am I right? Now let's find the probability of A and probability of B. Probability of A would be number of favorable outcomes is 3. Number of possible outcome is 6. So 3 out of 6 which is nothing but 1 over 2. What would be the probability of even B getting a number that is multiple of 3? So total number of favorable outcomes is 2 and total number of possible outcomes is 6. So the probability would be so, from these steps, we can clearly see that events are not mutually exclusive. That is, we have something in intersection. Am I right? So, if you look at this list and this list, do you see any number in common? 
So, A intersection is 6. We have a number common in both the list. So, they are not mutually exclusive. So, again apply the same probability formula. Number of favorable outcomes over total number of possible outcomes. Here, number of favorable outcome is only 1. Only 1 outcome is common in both these sets. So, 1 out of 6 outcomes, the total sample space outcomes. So, we are almost done. We have found the probability of A, probability of event B and the probability of A intersection B. All we have to do is, we are just going to write the formula and substitute all the values we got. So, for this compound probability is given by either you can convert everything into simplified fraction or you can keep these numbers as it is because the denominators would be same if you are not simplifying it. After solving this tip, you can finally simplify. That would make your job very easy. So, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6. I am getting 2 over 3. You can try this calculation part. Hope you are clear with this example. So, this is how we find the union of any two event. Okay. In this question, the question is very straightforward. I am going to take one more word problem and explain you how to apply the same concept. Here is the next example. Christ rolled a fair die and wished to find the probability of the number that turns up as odd or divisible by 5. All the probability problems will mainly roll around the three uh, different types. Rolling a coin, tossing a coin, rolling a die and uh, picking a card from the deck. Okay, so under that, like that, this is a die problem. Okay, from this sample space, let A be the event and odd, or odd number turns up. And let's define the second event. Even B would be the number that turns up as divisible by 5. Okay. So for all the probability problems, particularly union, union of the events, you have to define what are the two events, A and B. And then list out the sample spaces and list out the favorable outcomes for event A as well as the favorable outcome for the event B. And then you can find the probability for each, probability of A and probability of B. And then you have to check whether there is any common outcome. You can just look at the list of A and B and check whether anything is common. In case if uh, both the sets has a common term, or a common element then you can say that both have both are not mutually exclusive or both are not independent so you have to rewrite the formula as we stated earlier in case if uh, there is no common thing then you can uh, rewrite the formula just exclude the intersection part okay here let us list out the sample space sample space for a die is very simple there are six outcomes a is getting an odd number. So, odd number in this list is 1, 3 and 5. E is the number that turns up as divisible by 5. Okay, let us check this list. So, no other number is divisible by 5 except 5. So, the elements in this set B is 5. Now, let us write the union of this. Union of this, in the union set, you should not repeat the numbers. So, A union B is 1, 3, 5. 5 is repeated. So, you need not mention it twice. Now, let us find the probability of A union B. Probability of some event is equal to total number of favorable outcomes over total number of possible outcomes. So, here, how many uh, numbers are there in the A union B? 3. And total number of possible outcomes is the sample space. So, there are 6 outcomes listed out in the sample space. So, 3 over 6 or 3 out of 6. For all the problems, you can either give your answer as fraction, decimal or percentages. All these three types of answers would be considered as a correct one. Rounding rule of thumb for probability. Okay, I'll give you some general guidelines so that uh, you can uh, follow while solving the problems. In general, you should carry probabilities to at least four decimal places for intermediate steps. In case if you are dealing, uh, if you are, if you are going to give your answer in decimals, and we often round our final answer to two or three decimal places, that would be fine. You need not uh, give more decimals. For extremely small probabilities, it is important to have one or two significant digits. Please notice that the significant digits should be non-zero digits. For example, so it should be of this type. 
and in case if you are doing your probability problems in computer it would uh, display in a different way it would uh, just write the two numbers multiple multiplication symbol it will be uh, written in scientific notation even if you are using the calculator so this is all about union of events in probability so in our next session we can start intersection of events and we can also discuss complement of probability in case if you have any query regarding this session please let me know see you in the next video